Welcome home. Have you ever come home? I don't mean Tuesday night for dinner. I mean after a lengthy stay away like college or the army or even a time you live somewhere else for an extended period. What is home anyway? Respite? Calm? Familiarity? Love? Warmth? Happy? Maybe abuse? Maybe strife? Maybe sibling rivalry? Maybe tension? Home is where the heart is, it said. When asked, where are you from, and where do you call home, unless you never left town, the answers are rarely the same. Home is home, and everything else is not home. That's the way the world works. Home is a place so incredibly familiar, you don't even have to notice it. You fall back into it like an aged easy chair. As the poet Edgar Albert Guest once wrote, It takes a heap of living in a house to make it a home. At my father's eulogy some 11 years ago, I described that I felt like a chip off the rock that was my hometown. I would most likely never be a part of that rock again, but that chip still fit in perfectly from where it was cracked out, albeit no longer permanently. It could just rest there for a moment in time. It's still special for me to revisit my little village in northern New Jersey. If you've had that experience, then you most likely have empathy with our men and women in the military who come home from their tours of duty. More than one video clip of a child surprised by his mom or dad at a baseball game has moistened my eyes. Well, on February 3rd, my younger daughter Mindy will be coming home. I doubt there will be any airport celebration except possibly her wonderful husband, an energetic son waiting at the luggage carousel. Mindy, you see, is a civilian employee of the Department of Defense. And she will be returning from a six-month deployment in Kabul, Afghanistan. It's not only our military who serve in harm's way. While she has been quite safe through the entire period, see, the Marine Guards maintain the security at this facility, it has been at least a low-level concern for her mother and me. And while Mindy grew up in good old Webster Groves, Missouri, where her mother and I still maintain the homestead, and she does appreciate the occasional visit, she and her husband Chris and that little bundle of energy David have created their new home in Northern Virginia. I would not venture to guess how she would answer the two questions, where are you from and where do you call home? But I am sure her son David will always recall this homecoming to this house and this neighborhood and this loving family as where he will call home the rest of his life, no matter where he's from. Any doubts that this home is where the hearts are? Welcome home, Mindy. It's Pop, and this is another moment of clarity.